Hi there, Lori Elke here. Today I did a painting on a kind of thicker paper. It's kind of like a canvas paper and I used acrylic paint to create it. This was a picture that I took on one of our family vacations to Mackinac Island, which is up uh, between Lower Michigan and Upper Michigan. And you can kind of see the bridge in the distance, that's the Mackinac Bridge. And I just thought the flowers with the bridge was such a pretty picture. So I wanted to paint that uh, in this little acrylic painting. So I recorded the steps and would love for you to follow along and see if you can paint something similar. All right, enjoy, have fun and can't wait to see what you create. Thanks so much for watching and like and subscribe below. Starting with a flat brush and using a variety of colors of acrylic craft paint. And for the first step, I'm gonna start with the sky. I'm just mixing a light blue and a white together. And I'm throwing a little bit of water in too because I want the paint to be nice and thin as it goes onto my paper. The paper I'm using is just a thicker paper. It's um, a pad that I bought that is actually meant for acrylic or oil paint. So it has kind of a canvas texture, but it came in just a little pad. I'm going in with a brighter blue to create the water line and I'm adding that in um, in a straight line across the horizon and then add a diagonal line that goes along the bottom of the page. And right now I'm just filling it in with bright blue paint. And then I will add a little bit of turquoise and a little bit of white in there too. But I just wanna get kind of a nice solid section of paint onto the page. Here I'm blending a little bit of white and a little bit of turquoise. As long as the area is wet, the paint blends pretty well, so I'm kind of taking advantage of the wet paint and am blending in some other colors while they can all mix together. And then I took a smaller brush and I'm just kind of adding a little bit of texture to the water by creating like little wave-like brush strokes. And I'm kind of going in a horizontal mode so that I can get some nice little water wave-like movements. So just kind of dashes or dabs and using a little bit of the bright blue, a little bit of the white, a little bit of the turquoise, just to give the water a little bit more interest. I'm working from the bottom of my water up to the top and I'm trying to get it a little bit darker towards the top just so that it's a little bit more clear where the, the water starts and where the sky stops. And then after this, I'm just gonna kind of let all of this dry before I start in some of my next steps. So now that my first layer of colors has pretty much dried, I am going in and starting to add some of the detail to the foreground. And what I've done here is I've mixed some blue and some green, and I am just kind of filling in some plant-like shapes using my smaller brush and just dabbing the brush as I work my way across the foreground. And I'm going pretty dark and rich with these colors because I can add highlights on top of those later. So as I kind of do this, I'm more thinking of trying to create some different shapes of dabs and some different sizes so that it looks like there are a couple different types of plants down there in the foreground. And then the hollyhock bushes are my main uh, focal point. So I am 
making those really big and strong. I'm starting with the main lines of the plants as you can see with my dark mixture of green and blue and am painting those in and then kind of filling in around them. I decided to throw in um, some of the thicker, darker color around it and then I can always lighten that up later. So I'm using just some real little dabs towards the top and I'm kind of leaving some space in between for where the flowers will go. So I'm throwing in some leaves but then jumping down on the stems to leave room for the flowers that I'll paint in. And I'm, again, I'm just kind of dabbing with my brush the dark green and blue mixture to make the leaves. I can always go in and highlight later. So with acrylic paint, you can start with the darks first and then lighten them up or add highlights. If I was doing this with watercolor paint, I would have to do it opposite where I'd have to make all the lights first and then just kind of keep darkening the darks. One of the differences in the two mediums. I'm going back in and kind of adding another coat on some of the leaves on the left um, just to give them a little bit more presence. Now I've gone into my pink and this is kind of one of my darker pink that I have on my palette and I am just kind of drawing in where the flowers would go. So the ones that are facing me I'm just kind of making more circular blobs of paint and then some of them are faced sideways, so those are just more long and skinny. And I'm trying to kind of vary the position of the flowers as they go down the stems. And I can kind of over layer over some of the green that I've painted. If the green's not dry completely, some of it might mix with the pink, but I'm not too worried. I can just kind of add more pink paint on top or add another coat layer later. This way I'm able to kind of build up my flowers and decide where I want them to be. Now I'm going in and working on the background a little bit more. I have not yet added the Mackinac Bridge, which is Kind of way off in the distance so I have mixed a blue and green and white together to make it kind of a subtle landscape. I don't want my green in the background to be as vibrant as my green up front because there's a lot of atmosphere in between us in the background as we're looking at this so I am just kind of throwing in this kind of muted blue green color for the land and I'm making sure that the land too is flat against the water. Now I've gone in and mixed my green with a little bit of yellow to brighten it up and to start adding some of the highlights and some of the bushes in the foreground. And then highlights on some of the petals as well, or the leaves, excuse me, on the hollyhocks. So I've switched to a smaller brush yet. I'm using the same color that I used on the land in the background. So it's kind of a blue green mixed with some white to make it a little bit less vibrant, more subtle. And I started with the main posts of the bridge and then now I'm adding the actual bridge to go across the land. Because this is so far in the distance, I'm not putting a lot of of detail in just keeping it very basic and I believe in my photo the actual bridge was a lot wider too but for the painting I wanted to just keep it simple and kind of give that indication now I'm going in with even some more light colors I have yellow mixed with green and am adding that to the leaf I'm also using my little brush to add some extra little details, um, like the little branches down below. If sometimes helps to add little textures like that, just to give 
variation in the foreground plants. And then again, just adding more highlight details with my yellow green mixture. There might be even a little bit of white mixed in there too. Just kind of making some of those things pop a little bit more, giving them more dimension so it's not just a shadow, but more um, color. And I'm, I'm not being too fancy about where I'm putting these. I'm just kind of finding different shapes that I have and then adding a little bit of light to them. You can see it really kind of gives the plants a lot more dimension. Next I'm going in with pretty much just white and am adding some highlights on my flowers. My flowers are still pretty wet because I really caked on the paint and so the white kind of mixes in with them anyway. Um, I want to leave some pink showing of course because they are pink flowers but they have these nice little highlights on them so especially as I get to the lower ones I'm trying to keep the the light towards the top part of the flower and I'm using just my real little brush to kind of dab in some white areas and this gives the pop the flowers a lot more dimension as well makes them pop out a little bit more I'm adding a little bit of yellow to the inside of some of the flowers. They have a yellow center. A little dab of yellow, and then while I've got yellow on my brush, I'm throwing in a couple more little details in some of the plants in the foreground. Now I'm going in, I decided that my land and my water are kind of blending too much, so I wanted to make my water just a little bit darker towards the top so that you could see the definite line of where it started and stopped. So I'm just going in with my solid blue and I'm filling in some of the darker areas of water and then trying to kind of blend it down into the lighter blue colors that I had previously painted. The tricky part about this is you have to kind of paint around the flowers so that it looks like it's behind the flowers and not running into them. So ideally this would have been better to do before, but it works now. And there you have it. A beautiful little landscape 